Hey everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost and welcome, welcome today. Today you want to make some fun with book pages. Let's use up some book pages and make a book page wallet. Now it's a wallet in name only because it's probably not sturdy enough to be a true wallet, but it would be a really cool add-on as a removable or a tuck-in for your junk journals. So let me show you the prototype. Okay, so here we go. All right, let me just back out a bit so you can see a little better. Okay, so here it is. Here's prototype. And basically, I just decorated the front and the back. And uh, I made a little uh, C-shaped side tuck here, a little corner tuck, actually. So I tucked this in, but that's not mandatory. You can decorate the front any way you like. But basically, it opens up like a wallet would. And then I've tucked in these little side... I've attached these little side tucks. So you've got a pocket here which holds something, and a pocket here, which holds something. So I can kind of give you an idea of what it can do. And it has a matching pocket on this side. And oh, since I'm calling it a wallet, I put some money in it and I found this cute little, uh, that looks like Gandhi, doesn't it? I think so, yes. Reserve Bank of India. So, um, you know, you can put all sorts of fun little things in it. And it's a great little ephemera holder and uh, a very cute little add-on. It's not very thick, so it's easily uh, can fit into a journal. And uh, as a tuck-in, you can clip it on uh, with a paper clip or a little mini bulldog clip or a little uh, tiny wooden clothes peg would be cute. Um, uh, or you could tuck it into a pocket or into a tuck, or you could even wrap it around a page and clip it on like that, which is another option. Or you could glue the back if you wanted and just glue it in onto a page and it could open like that. So just some fun ideas. Hey, we're having fun today. Okay, ready to have some fun? Let's have some fun. All right, let's clear off the pretty paper and show you reality. Okay, <laughs> put you over here. We'll actually put you back in there and we'll put prototype over there. Okay, so first thing we need are some book pages. So I've got some book pages. Doesn't matter what book pages you use. I just happened to grab these. These came out of some book that I got it a while back. And I'm going to use three book pages. I think that's a good number. And here's a little trick if you're making this. You might want to put a little dab of glue in the center because it keeps things from running around. <clears throat> now my prototype was sewn. You can do this strictly with gluing, but I am going to show the sewn version. But basically what you would do with the, the glued version is just um, glue it. Okay, so I would run around the edges of each page and I would glue them together. Uh, but I do want to show you the sewing in this because it is easy and I'm, I'm trying to coax you guys gently. I'm being very gentle, trying to coax you into getting an old sewing machine and having some sewing paper fun because it is a lot of fun. Okay, so now that I'm anchored and these aren't going to run around on me, what I'm going to go do is I'm going to bring you over to the sewing machine because I think I'm getting a little better at moving my camera around. We shall see. Uh, but I'm not going to make you seasick. I'm just going to set you up over there. Hold on. Come on with me. Okay. Okay. We are now oriented to look at our, at our, at our sewing machine. Here we go. I just literally just turned my chair around. That's where it is. Okay. So I'm going to stick this in here and let's pick a pretty, what did I use? I used uh, zigzag. Zigzag is an easy one for uh, most people to accomplish. There's not really a lot of difference between um, stitches as far as accomplishing them. It's not really a skill learned, but it's um, one thing you want to do is maybe widen it a little bit or space them out a little bit more because you're working on paper. And uh, I'm just going to sew around the outside of this. I hope that's not too noisy for everybody. It's going to be a pretty quick sew. Just bear with me here. All right. Going around the outside. See, I'm not doing much here other than just holding the paper in the direction I want it to go. Pretty easy. Turn it around. There we go. And okay. Turn around and we're going. And we're going. Home, home stretch. Almost there. Coming down the mountain. Oh, it's a noisy thing. Okay. Go right off the edge and I don't sew back and forth. I just trim it and that's it. I hope you can see all that. Okay, I'm coming back over here now. Don't get seasick. I'm going to pause you and bring you back over here. Okay, we're back over here and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to ink it. Okay, so I'm going to try and maybe do a different color ink this time. Something, something different, anything, please. Let's, let's pick an ink. Okay, uh, 
Rain cloud? That's kind of dark. Okay, no, nah, not rain cloud. Um, okay, we'll do rain cloud. Um, actually, let me let me do it like I did prototype. Yeah, because I want to show you that inking technique. Okay, I am going to do my traditional brown. Yep, not very exciting brown. We've got a gathered twig here. Let's use this one. I haven't used this one in a long time. This is, uh, let me show you the lid. Oop. Gathered, distress oxide, gathered twigs. It's kind of a medium brown, I would say. It looks a lot like vintage photo to me, or else I've got so much. Oop, I think you guys are kind of close. Okay. The, um, the Maybe I've got so much vintage photo on my... Uh, <clears throat> dauber that that's all you see are we focused okay don't pass out on me all right here we go going around <laughs> ah. holly is in the background chirping calling my dog that passed away back in october <laughs> yep <laughs> what's weird is he sometimes answers as the dog he'll bark <laughs> yep <laughs> ah. spirits live on over here <laughs> No getting out of this house. Um, okay, so we are just going around inking the edges. Okay, I'll show you a basic construction first and then we'll get into all the extra decorating. Maybe I'll do that and get to the point here. Okay, all right, so I'll do better. I'll do better later. Okay, all right, let's see, as long as you can see me. Okay, so now you're gonna take your piece. Let's do basic construction and really tricky part. We're going to fold it in half. Hold on. Here comes the rocket science. Yep. Folding this in half. Okay. Here we go. Giving it a nice fold, nice crease. We're going to declare this side as the front just because it has a title and it looks like the front to me. Okay. No other reason than that. I am going to highlight my crease with my distress ink just to make it pop a little bit. And you can use shoe polish or makeup or other things too. If you don't have distress inks, um, you can even use watercolors and stuff, just very uh, dry brushed around. Um, okay, so now we're gonna go to the inside. And what are we gonna do? We're going to fold this back on itself and we're going to emphasize the fold crease in the center with the ink again. All right, yep. there we go. Just doing this. Pretty simple technique. Nothing fancy. All right, we got our front, there's our front. Okay, so now what we would like to do, we would like to find some paper. And I've been using just some leftover um, cardstock paper that I've had, and this has been working well. I don't know if I can get two out of these, I think I can. Um, okay, so I need my pencil, and I'm gonna do my easy measuring technique. I'm gonna measure in here, so I know I want it to start here. So I want it to end about here, because I want enough room for me to get something in and out and for it to poke out so you can see there's something in there. So there, and uh, I want it to go to about there. So I make two measurement marks there, and then I'm gonna take this to my guillotine cutter, I'm gonna cut it here and here, and I'm gonna use this template, and I'm gonna make a second one exactly that size. I'll be right, well, maybe, maybe I can show you. I don't know, I'm gonna try, let's try. Okay, hold on. All right, I am at my, uh, <laughs> my uh, guillotine cutter. My guillotine cutter has stuff all over it. Um, okay, but I see my, where my marks go. I know they have to be here. It was holding it like that. There's one. There's one. And there's one. Okay, yeah, I got them. Okay, I see it. Okay, I'm cutting one. Oh, yeah. There's the other one. <laughs> okay, blind is a bat over here, but what do they say? A blind squirrel finds a nut every once in a while? That's me. Okay. Here we go. And I'm in the guillotine cutter, trying not to cut my fingers off. These things are really handy if you have a uh, thick paper to go through, but they're also really handy for um, like medium weight paper, anything that's, you know, you don't have 40, you just have a few sheets, but it gives you a nice, very clean, clean, quick edge and everything is handy dandy. And then what I'm going to do while I'm oriented over here, and I'm feeling so organized about being oriented that way, I am going to use some of this and make some smaller paper. Yeah, because I, I, need, I need more paper. Okay, so let me just, I'm gonna guess. It's gonna be about that wide. Because I already made one of these, so I have a, a little idea of how long it needs to be. But I'm gonna take this and Let's see, I want it to be, can you see that? I'm gonna put it here and I think I want it about that long. Make a little mark in it. 
I'm seeing everything here. No secrets. Everything's, I'm trying to do everything in front of the camera so you can, you can actually see it. See what the setup is. All right, let me move my garbage can over a little bit because it's in my way. All right, and we'll make one. Oh, that's kind of a pretty color though. Let's use that side. You're not exactly the same size, but we'll fix you. We'll fix you, mister. All right, and your little dog. Okay, we'll just, we'll just shave a, a sliver off of you. Uh, there we go. I would say that's close enough. Now we're going to, are you still there? Yeah, you can see me. Okay. All right. So I'm going to take these and put them together. They're not exactly the same size, but eh, whatever. Um, <laughs> I'm going to take my one inch circle punch. Never quite done it from this angle before. Um, okay, here we go. And I'm going to punch those out. Did both at the same time. So I know they're in the same spot and I'm going to do the same thing with these two. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. And we're punching. Whoops. Come on. Okay. Whoops. That wasn't exactly the right angle. Oh, well. Close enough. Um, you know, I can fix that. You know how I can fix that? I can just shave some of that off. There we go. All fixed. See that? Now the little divots look more normal like they should. Okay. That's the quickie trick out of that little mess. Oops. All right. Hang on. I'm trying not to hang myself with my, my mic uh, wire and show you guys at the same time. Okay, so I'm going to bring you back over. Hold on. Okay, I think we're rolling. Okay, so at this point... Oh, that's my prototype. <laughs> I have to cheat and look at my prototype to see what I did. Okay, right. Square edges and those had round edges. Okay, so these edges, I rounded the bottom corners. Because I must have thought that was going to look so cool, so I did it. And... But these I left straight and now I'm back into the inking world again. Okay. And for some reason I lost my other brown. I don't know where it went. Well, okay. That's all right. We can live with that. I'll just, I've got 17 browns here. It's not like I don't have a brown in front of me. Just, just ink, Pam. Ink. Ink for gosh sakes. Okay. I'm inking. I'm inking. So I'm just going around, going around. And it's nice when you've already cut out the divot, you can just kind of cruise in there with your inker and ink the divot. And so we have one. Okay, now we have number two. Now you can stop at this level of inking or you can go for extra ink. And I might do a little extra ink because I think that might be fun. So we have this much contrast, but I think I'd like to amplify the inkarama here. And I think I'm going to grab some rain cloud. Hi, Holly. How's it going? You going to come over and visit? That's the one I've got for rain cloud. And uh, I think I got this, did I say? I may have not upset, um, but I got this at uh, Tuesday morning. Maybe I did say. It's one of those days. I'm doing a few videos today, and I can't remember what I said when, so bear with me, folks. <laughs> okay, so I am just going, like, randomly hitting odd spots, maybe heavily, you know, trafficked spots with fingers, corners, middle of the road, more corners, more of this divot thing gets a lot of finger action and there we go. Okay, so that's all nice and inked up. So that has some good contrast jamming with it. Da -da -da -da. And you can just put these down as is. But I think what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to do them like I did here so you can see that. But I'm just going to uh, I'm just going to pick a different stitch and sew around the edges. Okay, so I'm going to take them over there to my sewing machine. And I, I think you get it about the sewing part now. So I'll just be right back. Well, let me tell you, it was a good thing you weren't witness to that because, uh, you know, as, as it happens, my bobbin uh, came to the end and also I, my foot fell off. Not my personal foot, but the foot on the sewing machine, so I had to reattach it. And uh, there are videos on how to do that. It's not that hard, but it, it can happen to you. And you're one video away from figuring out how to, how to handle that little issue. And uh, it's all handled now. Everything's good. So, okay. So what I'm going to do here is take off these little extra strings. Um, and I don't uh, soup, like super straight sew or anything. I'm not a, a you know, well-renowned seamstress by any means. So, uh, but I do like the, um, the added visual of sewing, but um, I like the, the not perfectness of it because I think it, it uh, lends a more handmade look. And I think it's kind of pretty on junk journals as if uh, somebody bound them together. Um, you know, I can kind of pretend I hand sew that, well, I'm not pretending, but it make, making it look like maybe I tried to hand sew it and it was just a really bad job. <laughs> 
Not only was it a bad uh, machine sew, it was a bad hand sew too. Okay, so I'm putting this on. Um, okay, all you neat nicks out there. I know there's neater ways to do all this, but, um, and you can do that on your journals, okay? <laughs> That's the great part of the variety. Now, what you wanna do is you wanna translate this piece all the way to the left as far, not, not as far, but you want to leave a little distance here so that you have a place to tuck things in and maybe make them equidistant from the spine just for a visual symmetry. And around we go. Okay, there we go. Okay, oh, I like that title showing. That's nice. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, the French Revolution and its influence on art. That sounds very impressive. Okay, um, all right, now we have these guys. And we could just glue these on as well. You don't have to sew these. You don't have to sew anything in this project. I'm just showing you that as an option, just for fun. But at this point in the game, guess what we're doing? We're inking with gathered twigs. Yes, we are, because we like to ink 99% of the time. <laughs> And uh, it's just uh, allowing this piece of paper to pop more from the piece of paper behind it. Not mandatory, but as you can see, it pops a little bit more than that one, I would say. And uh, let's maybe ink this guy up too. So you can see this one to come into full fruition. And then I will just be off to the little sewing machine again. And I'm just going to be showing, sewing a little U-shaped something <clears throat> to give it a little eye interest. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. And uh, uh, now we're just gonna glue these on, not rocket science. Anybody can do that, right? And just glue along your edges. Doesn't have to be this glue. It, uh, this is Fabrifix, by the way. It's a clear um, silicone glue, but you can use a wet white glue. That would be just fine. Um, when I use a wet white glue, I generally use art glitter glue. And if you're looking for any of my favorite tools or supplies, they're listed below in the description box. Um, just click on my Amazon store link and you'll be magically whisked off to Amazon and uh, uh, it'll show you all the products that I use a lot. And you can see them by picture. It's very easy to find what you're looking for. And uh, what else? Okay. Um, coming down the mountain here, going around, around the town. And we're gonna glue this baby on. And she's done. I, I'm just put making sure that there's distance between the two sewing uh, things here so that you can see and appreciate both of them. Sewing is not mandatory here, but it's just a nice fun little accent. Okay, so pretty much that is your basic construction. And um, Holly, do you approve? Yeah? And now we just get to decorate the front. So this is going along smoothly. Yes, yes. Yeah, lots of chatter going on. Okay, so what I did was I took the ink dauber that I had full of brown and I just went over the surface of this to give it a little bit more warmth in the background. It's a great way to uh, age up your things pretty quickly. And uh, you can go sideways, you can go this way, you can daub it on, but there you go. You got a nice brown background. There we are. Pretty quick, huh? Okay. And um, I think I'm going to, yes, <laughs> I have a lot of competition for the airwaves today, boy. Um, is everything working? Let me check. You can see. Okay. I still have time and I'm just going to use the, uh, the rain cloud again, this one, yep. to emphasize the edges, make little darker areas here and there to show some wear, wear and tear. This thing's been around a while. Yeah, it's been through the trenches, handed down through the centuries, for goodness sake. This stuff is amazingly valuable. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, a little bit the top there. Okay. All right. Yep. We have a little song there. He's, you might, he's, he's a singer today. You get to hear it. Oh yeah. Here we go. He likes to make up his own little tunes, he does. All right, so I started with, I did some stenciling. Oh, you just heard, I love you more and more. I don't know if you guys heard that, but. Um, and I did a focal point, a triple layer focal point, which is still quite thin because I want it to fit in the journal nicely. Um, so I didn't bulk it up too much with material or anything. And I wanted to keep it like a wallet. Is, you want it to be thin, right? Not bulky. This is very thin. You see how thin that is? Super thin. Okay. Um, so let's pick a focal point. I had a little picture I thought I was going to use here of this little guy or little girl. And there's a little frog there. That's kind of cute too. And a little mouse on that side. But let's go for her at the moment. And, uh, oops. Oh, actually, I got to tear this way. Is that right? No, I got to tear. This, no, this way. Yeah, there's a way to get the white edge. And it's like if you pull towards you with the left hand, you should get the white edge. 
sometimes. Sometimes I think it depends on the paper. There's some white edge. Okay. We have that. That's looking very pretty. And I may or may not turn this into a pocket. Maybe not on this one. Uh, but let me get some background and what would be pretty. Yeah, hey! <laughs> Lots of, it's quite a day. It's a little cooler here today. I mean, you know, it's all relatively speaking. But, um, you know, it's like 50s at night and 70s in the day, which is kind of, I guess that's typical, typical March for us here. Um, but it's kind of a relief because it was starting to get hot. Yes, hey! <laughs> and uh, I'm just looking for any paper. Yeah, okay, I'm going to find some. Hold on. Okay. Yep. Always squeaker pants today. Yeah. Hey. Oh, lots of whistles. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you to all the bird lovers out there appreciating the uh, cacophony of sounds uh, uh, sprinkled throughout my videos. I know <laughs> it drives some people crazy, uh, but there's, like I said, I can't find his off switch and it's, that's just us. So uh, uh, either mute us or, um, uh, you know, that's all I can suggest or, uh, um, you know, that's probably the best bet. Just make us be quiet. Maybe you're tired of yakking all the time too. Uh, that's okay. I understand. I understand. All right, here we go. Going around here and oh tearing it sort of kind of close to what's there. So I know it's going to fit. My edges are going to stick out. Oh, I hear my husband's feet moving upstairs. I mean, could mean he's coming down. Doesn't realize again, I'm making a video, but I think He'll be quiet. Right, honey? Oh, no. He went to the bathroom. I could tell. <laughs> Shh. Don't tell him I told you. Uh, he'd be so embarrassed. Oh, I can't believe you said that on the video. I did, honey. You know what? It's real life. We're all, we're all in the house together and everybody's gotta, gotta get along. <laughs> so, um, there we are. Surviving together here. And I'm going to apparently paper craft my way out of this apocalypse. Um, well, we got to have a little fun, right? Okay, I think I need something to differentiate. See how it's it's got some pop, but not enough for Mama. So we're going to need a little more than that. Um, I already got words there. Now that's a little hard. All right, let me go find something. I'll be right back. Well, I found this in my scrap pile. Apparently, I was attempting to fold a piece of paper, trying to create something wonderful, which didn't, didn't happen. So I'm unfolding it, and now I'm going to use it as the background for this, which that might look kind of cool. Um, so let's just try that. Uh, let me use this. So grab a little better. I grab there. Well, actually, I guess I can just glue the whole thing on. Yeah, why don't I do that? Okay, more with the Fabrifix. And uh, I, I have been asked before, is Fabrifix the same thing as Fabri-Tac or Beacon 3-in-1 glue? And in my opinion, they work exactly the same. Um, I did a little research and I found that they're all made by the same company. And the reason they have different names is because of where they are sold. Uh, some are sold at, you know, Hobby Lobby or uh, Joann's or Michael's and Walmart. And that can uh, uh, be the reason for the different names, as far as I understand. That, that to me is mystery solved. They all seem exactly the same to me. They work, they work the same. Um, I don't know if you guys have found a differences between them. Let me know because I, I have heard that the art glitter glue in cold weather doesn't ship as well, but I live in a warm weather climate, so I, I can't, I can't say, but it's good to learn from others who live in different areas. Maybe stuff does work differently. You know, that that's possible. Oh, that's kind of pretty. I like that. Yeah, you like that? Yeah, I kind of like that. Okay. I think I'm just going to put her on the front. She's very, very pretty. Um, Okay, let me ink up around the edges again. How are we doing on time? 23? Yeah, we're good. Uh, no more color here. would really like my other ink. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, here it is. Okay, come here. I need good old walnut stain. That's what I need. I need something to pop. All right, let's go with some serious brown. This is walnut stain is dark brown. Yeah, think dark brown when you get walnut stain. More intense brown. Kind of looks like the burnt edges of when you burn paper brown. Yeah, I would say I would akin it to that. Liken it. I would I would liken it. That's what I'm trying to fumble with my words there, trying to find the right one. But there's a basket full of words inside me and they're all screaming to get out and uh, they will find a way, <laughs> as you know. Okay. Okay. Well, that's that's good. I think we need to do something else to it though. Do we, where do you want to live? Do you want to live down here? Or we could live down here. Okay. Well, you'll live down there. We'll just commit to that. Okay, we're going to live down there. All right, here we go. Woo! Okay. 
and I'm using the, the writing in the background as just interestingness. <laughs> Another very important word in the English language, interestingness. And uh, okay, so now I think I'm going to add some stampage. Yep, and I have this one out. I was working with this one the other day. Maybe I can put a butterfly in front. That would be pretty. Um, and uh, where did prototype go? Come here. I did double color inking on the prototype. So I'm going to try that on butterfly too. Let's see. Oh, butterfly has blue. Let's play with some blue. Yeah, there's the blue. All right, here we go. Blue. I'm going to do some blue on half of you. And then the other half, we'll do walnut stain. And we'll see what happens. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Okay, probably cross-contaminating here. It happens to the best of us. Okay. All right, now, I should probably stamp on something because this is going to cause a mess. I can see it. It's coming. How are we doing on time? Oh, yeah, we're good. Okay, quick check there. All right, so there we go. So I'm gonna, where am I going to put you? I'm going to put you here. Like, half hanging off the edge. All right, we're just going for it. Whatever happens, happens. Ooh, that's kind of cool. I like that. Maybe there's going to be more than one butterfly. Oh, I have a feeling. Okay. Come. Oh, I love you more too. Okay, there's half a wing. Okay, well, maybe only one stamp will do it. But uh, yeah, I think that came out kind of cool, huh? Yeah. All right, so what, what, what? Um, I need some more stuff on here and I just want to put some more things. Let me see, let me see. What can I do? I can put, oh, oh. you okay, honey? Okay, my husband just dropped his phone, and so apparently all is well. I think I'm going to put a number. I don't know why. How about uh, six? Yeah, that sounds good. Why not? I just heard a big bang upstairs. I want to make sure he didn't fall over or something. Okay, six. Yeah, that's kind of cool. And uh, is that all we need? Maybe we need... Um, what? You want stickles? You want uh, liquid pearls? I could do that. I have time. Let me see. Checking the time. 27? Yep, I'm good. Okay, let me open it up just so you can see the inside again. Let's see if I haven't glued it all together, but that's what it looks like. We've got all these little pockets that we can put little things in. How cute are those? Let me better ink these edges. I was going to do all my decorating at the end. Okay. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. You have to make that sound when you ink. It's required. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> if you're wondering why your inking is not working, that's why. <laughs> if you're not making the sound, you have to make the sound. Okay, that's very good. Oh, I just love that. It looks like 3D, like it's coming out at you. It's very cool. Okay, so, uh, okay, I've got my, my liquid pearls and everything right here. Let's get some pretty blue. I've got this blue. This would be nice. I think it'll show up. Well, let's give it a toe. Anything coming another? Oh, yep, it's coming. Where should I put it? Um, about here. One, two, three, up, down, up, down, up. That's the technique. Down side, down up, down up, down up, where it's going to show, right? Okay, here, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, and I'll just put some on down the side of her because she's sort of pretty and she deserves a few little extra bedazzles. Well, maybe some on her little egg cup here. It's a very cute little egg cup. All right, they're very good. Maybe one on the center of her little, um, should we give her a necklace? Why not? There. there, there we go. Little necklace. Want a hair thing? Sure. One. Okay, just one. Oh, see, there was a red thing there, and I put a blue one by it. All right, I went to town. <laughs> okay, let me see if you can see it. Okay, so now the liquid pearls will dry raised, so they look like little halfback pearls on your stuff. And um, there she is. So here is my little book page wallet, and I'm going to gingerly open her. And again, show you the inside where you can put little things to be tucked in. Now, what else can I tell you? If you enjoyed this video, uh, please like, subscribe, and share. And if you want to be notified every time I get a, put a new video out, click the notification bell um, down beside the subscribe link. Uh, and um, I put out new videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. And if you're interested in any digital vintage ephemera digi kits, I have some in my Etsy shop. Please feel free to explore. Um, I have, I think I told you about my Amazon store link down below. Um, I also do podcasts every Tuesday and Thursday related to junk journal topics, making junk journals, the life of a junk journaler, um, all this sort of fun stuff. My playlists, I think I said, are at the bottom and at the end of each video. Um, I am found on Instagram, Etsy, 
Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook. I have a fun Facebook group. Come on out and play with us. It's a super place to learn new tips and tricks from each other. Very fun and friendly and supportive people. Very nurturing environment. Um, and also remember that fun can be simple and create with reckless abandon, everybody. Just go out there and have some fun because you deserve it. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.